uh, adjust the depth a little bit. All right, so there's not many tools that I own that I love more than my framing nailer. Absolutely, or any nailer, any cordless nailer, I absolutely love them because this tool directly correlates to save time and save money on a job site. I can't, I can't say enough about it. Now, a brief history, I haven't had this nailer since it came out because I was originally in the DeWalt line and I was heavily invested in the DeWalt line. I'll throw up a picture at the end of this video if you guys want to see how many nailers I had of their line. Plus, I think I have videos of those all as well. They have a flywheel design. This is the Metabo Hitachi has an air spring drive system, which basically means it has compressed air that's sealed inside and it uses that compressed air, I believe, when it's actually ramped up and the motor itself charges the system, it's just below 120 psi. And then when you when you press the uh, when you press it down and you squeeze the trigger, it fires that um, that it releases that compression and it drives the firing pin down to like I think like 68 psi, um, and that piston down. And and then basically the the actual battery charges uh, motor that drives that piston and pushes that air and compresses it back. So it's just a revolving. You're not losing any gas. It's all internal. You don't do anything like that. It's absolutely a self-sustaining self-contained system so which is far superior the dewalt's flywheel if you, if you pull a trigger and you hear a, a ramping up like boss ditch um dewalt i think craftsman those are all the same basically i think i think they are made by the same company wh wherever they are made but uh it's all flywheel it, they do work i had those those tools for years they do work I, they paid for themselves but they did fail and this is by far a far superior design and you'll notice that because Milwaukee's if you've ever tried Milwaukee's framing nailer I know that they're probably not gonna release it till who knows probably 2025 whatever it is but uh, same same technology it's fantastic it is superior it fires harder it drives nails deeper I will say I think I might have had maybe one two malfunctions the couple years I've had this um, or a year and a half or so give or take I'm not sure I'll have to look at my my videos and <laughs> take a look but fantastic tool I mean, who wants, if you're going up into an attic doing a repair for something or adding some, you know, adding some stuff, who wants to take a air hose all the way up there? I mean, granted, you could just take some screws, but if you don't have the time, it, it, it just saves time. It completely just saves your, saves your body, saves everything. Now, a couple of facts, between two and three and a half inch uh, nails it fires, <clears throat> ten, about 10 pound weight with a three amp hour battery, which I have. Um, it's got a four and a half inch rafter hook. I mean, it's pretty big. You guys can see it. It's, I mean, it's a little large, but I mean, it, it works. It's fine. You cannot fit a full a full rack of nails in here. I believe you can only fit about thirty in here. But that's the only thing. I that's one of the main things I did. I don't like. But it's obviously compact enough where it can fit between um, joists and fit in between studs. So you can nail stuff if you need to, which is nice. But I would like a, a larger capacity. I mean. You know who who doesn't right so but it is pretty compact not light but very compact but if you're if you're using this all day i mean it's 10 pounds and you're gonna you're gonna feel it so i mean it's it is what it is um i'll i'll bring down and i'll show you guys exactly but it, you got it's all electronics down here um which i like it's got an auto shut off so if you don't use the tool for 30 minutes it automatically turns itself off so it, it's you know it saves the battery it's it's fantastic um but it's like I said, um, framing nailers, if you guys are not familiar with cordless framing nailers, they're a game changer, really are. Now, I'm not framing an entire house with just one of these. I would definitely recommend, it comes with, the, the kit comes with one battery, definitely recommend at least two batteries. You know me, I have a bunch of them, I have probably have six or eight of them, but uh, I have obviously probably four nailers here. So, uh, fantastic um, safety switch, you know, it does, if you're, if, if the, the tool's on and you pull the trigger for like, say, you know, you're trying to fire something and you don't actually depress the pin um, to tip within two seconds, it, it, it locks out. It safety switch, it, it won't fire. So you basically have to release the trigger and then redo it and, you know, re-squeeze it. So safety's great. Also has a safety switch right here, which automatically you flip it and it, the tool's inert. So yeah i mean i absolutely love who doesn't love cordless tools where it literally saves you time if you got to go up and you got to nail something in real quick you're not gonna <laughs> you can grab some screws but if you need a this nailer you basically just grab it it's already got whatever you, nails you need inside it you turn it on and you, you get to town you just get to work so i can't say enough good things as far as being completely cordless i mean nailers are fantastic absolutely i when i saw dewalt's I knew I needed it. I'm um, absolutely. <laughs> it's like it just saves me. It, it's just even though I knew the flywheel 
was probably not going to be the best technology. It's just, it still worked fantastic. Metabo is basically Hitachi rebranded. Um, and I know in, in Europe, it's actually Hikoki or something like that. All the same tool, all made, you know, I think this is probably made in China, unfortunately. So, but absolutely no failure so far. Again, I don't use this absolutely every day, all day. Um, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a quick uh, runtime test. I got a full three amp hour battery. I'm gonna be driving these two inch nails in. I'm gonna see how many I get through. And again, it, you can't fit a whole strip of nails. You, I mean, I can probably, this is two of these small, so probably 28 nails in here right now. Um, so that's, that's the capacity is the main downstream with this, but um, it's already paid for itself over and over again, framing stuff out, building anything I need to. You guys really need to look in, even if it's not, you know, this this tool with the kit comes with the, the charger and one battery, I believe it's $399. Sometimes you can get them for a little cheaper at Lowe's or online. They run some specials, but it is $400. I mean, it's a it's a expensive tool, but once you do one job with it, man, you're going to be like, I've never ever want to use, you know, who wants to get out their air compressor and, oh my goodness, find a, a, some, you know, a circuit that's not going to trip, et cetera, et cetera. So fantastic, absolutely amazing tool. I can't say enough about it. Um, I would highly recommend it. And yes, even though I have this, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still probably going to buy Milwaukee's just to compare for the channel, I mean, I got a you know a pretty good subscriber base now. I'm sure you guys want to see it. I want to do a comparison, and um, I'm I'm just I'm curious. I did I have tried it out at the demo days, um, locally here, and it was nice. It was very impressive. I'm not sure the exact reason why they you know they, they probably had some issues. You know, they, Milwaukee's first gen nailers, not their framing because it's not a first. I mean, technically it's a first gen framing nailer, but their first gen nailers are their Brad and I think their 15 gauge were kind of not very good. So, but. I'm looking forward to their framing for sure. Let's get into some uh, testing and I'll give you my final thoughts. I'm just gonna go over this uh, tool real quick so you guys can see a real close up and personal view of it. And um, yeah, uh, if you guys can afford it, save up your money, save your pennies, use that stimulus check, whatever you need to do. And if you have a reason to <laughs> frame any kind of wall, or attach any kind of wood to anything, invest in a framing nailer, guys. All right, up close and personal. You've got your depth adjustment right up top. Very easy to do. Very, very, very straightforward. Um, and it also has, you know, right there you can see it. So you can't get confused with it. Um, you got your you got your power buttons. See if I can get a better view of this with light. So power buttons. You can check your battery right there. A couple of lights. Tells you either full or half. Um, and you can press this for on. You can see. Sorry about the shadow. And the blue light illuminates. And then if you press it again or hold it down, one of, one of the two here. So, oh, sorry, there we go. And it flashes, sorry, wrong button. But it flashes, then you can see it, it's a sequential, so if you need to bump fire, you can. And then you press it again for just your single action. So, I, I, I didn't even need to read anything. Obviously, I, didn't, you know, I, don't, I don't use uh, sequential very often, if at all, but I'm going to here, see if we can get this battery drained out with these new na with these nails. But other than that, this, I mean, everything else, your battery self-explanatory, your trigger, um, your, your tip. They have a Nomar tip for this, but I mean, I've never needed it. I've never had a use for it for sure. So let's get to uh, firing some nails here. Anybody tell me to take a guess how many this is? All right, guesses are in. 336 fired in one battery. I let it cool down for a couple minutes while I counted and just tried to see if it would shoot anymore and it wouldn't, so it's it's dead. So, not too bad. I know they'd say I think around 400, and I would say probably if, if you're doing it like full day, you probably get 400 if you were letting it cool down for a little bit, but just rapid firing through all these, yeah, through, yeah, it's just, I'm the, for a three amp hour battery, guys, it's pretty damn good for me. So, and again, these are two inch into pine, and you can see ones that are, ones that are not sinking in all the way, that's, that's, that's user error, that's me just not pressing down all the way. You can see when I do press down, it actually sinks them in pretty quick. So, 
But uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna call that a good battery test, and uh, we'll do the uh, final thoughts. Beautiful. Again, angle, perfect. All right. All right, I definitely recommend, recommend it. Uh, it's absolutely a great tool. Only thing I would say is make sure you have probably two batteries or even more, just because you can see you get, you get a lot of nails done, but um, Hitachi batteries don't charge the fastest for sure. And you I mean you just want to keep production going. Um, tool weighs again 10 pounds with the battery, so it's not the lightest for sure. But it's absolutely uh, a must-have tool for me. I'll never not have a framing nailer as far as being cordless. Just getting up high, getting some spaces where you just it just hoses and cords just suck. They do. So I would definitely recommend this. Like and subscribe if I've earned it, guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next video. You guys take take care and be safe.